Hi, welcome to another Quick Tip Thursday. And today I'm here to teach you how to use the tool called Depth Map. It's a powerful tool that you can do a lot of with that tool. And it's also a tool that requires some processing power. So uh, you have to have that in mind. So let's jump in the computer and see how it's done. And here in the computer, as you can see, I already have a clip in the timeline, my uh, famous bride. So the depth map is used in the color tab. So let's jump in here. First of all, let's look for that in the library. So depth map it is. So let's drag it over our node three. So here we have it. As you can see, it also it immediately converts this to black and white, where the white is the nearest to the camera and the black is the further away from the camera. First of all, you have here two options. You have the better and the faster. If your computer is a little bit slower, you can use the faster. Let's use the faster. And we can adjust the map levels. You can adjust the far limit. If you increase it, you will notice that here is becoming more black because we are saying that from here is far away and you can increase the near limit if you increase it you'll notice here but it's okay and you have more options in here but if you will use it like it uh, is like this when it appears it's okay but let's, as you can see, let's use it normally. Let's disable the depth map review. Now we are in here, so let's add a node to edit and color correct and color grade here. So here we have it, but if we come here and do any changes, you will notice that it will change everything because we have to connect the alpha output of this node of the depth map to our new node. So in the green, we'll pass the video and in here, the information about, in this case, of the mask. So let's connect it. And now if you come here and change it, you will notice that it's changing only the foreground because our bright and a little bit of this area is our foreground and the rest is the background so let's name this as foreground and let's adjust this so let's give it a little bit of contrast and a little bit of saturation let's decrease a little bit the highlights and the mid-tones and the gamma alpha. Okay, imagine that this is okay. Let me get that. Now we wanna adjust the background. So for the background, you have multiple ways of doing. I'm gonna show you two ways. One is with an outside node and the other one is with a parallel node. So let's start with the outside node. Become here at an outside node you can press alt or option for mac users and o for outside and in here now we can come here if we adjust the outside node we can see that we are adjusting what we want so let's give it a little bit of oh, a little bit, some temperature let's decrease here the back Leave the gamma and the gain. So as you can see, if I turn this on and off, it's only changing the background. And if I come here, you can see that it's changing the bright, the foreground, the bright, and a little bit of here. So this one node label is the background. So this is one way or let's remove this and add a parallel node to this one, Alt or Option P. And 
you have to, re to remind that we have to connect our alpha output and in this case if you do something in here we know we are changing the bride also because this is the foreground also because it's the same mask so what's going here it's coming here so you have to invert this one for inverting this we come here to the key selected as you can see we have here the black and white so we come here and this one is for inverting and let's go here and now you can do the same we can adjust the temperature and reduce this a little bit so and you can also add some effects here let's all add a, Ga a gaussian blur for example to the background and as you can see now it's the background is blurred and you can control the blur from look you can do it the way you want so as you can see you can do a lot of things with this tool and this is a powerful tool as i already said and you have a lot of options you can how you can use it as you can see i've shown you two ways of doing something and it's you have a lot of other options to do it but this is a powerful tool and i like to use it because it's easy to use and i hope you learned something today if yes don't forget hit that like button that helps a lot subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time i'll launch a video until there bye